Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to head off into the field uh, shortly. Um, and this morning I've managed to borrow a 15 inch Caltech coil. A um, bit of a shortage of these in the country at the moment. I'm still actually waiting for mine. First thoughts of them, first thoughts of them though, is they're very well made and the coil lugs have been strengthened very sturdy they ain't gonna break so i've picked a bit of land we're gonna go to this morning which is we've done a death but there's some very very deep pasture uh, and want to see how it does and how it performs and as you can see the wall of fame at the back we've now added the highland detectorist to it great lad so give him a sub or is it the wall of shame Let's see. Okay, let's get out in the field and see how we get on. Right, we're back out. And uh, this is the sort of ground that I think the um, 15 inch coil is going to do well on this little flat area. If you look in the distance, we've got a few of them hills there. The hills seem to be very, very stony and things haven't really sank in there that deep. But this, but this like valley part is very, very soft digging and things are going to be deep. Found uh, quite a few hammer deer in the past and we've done it and done it and done it to death uh, with the standard coils and with the Equinox 15 inch coil. So it'd be interesting today to find out what the uh, coil tech coil is going to do. We may not find anything. First impression, when you've got the coil in your hand, the coil doesn't feel all that heavy. But once you get it on the machine, it does feel a bit top heavy with the Equinox. It's not very well balanced. Um, so I would recommend you getting a harness if you're going to get one of these coils. Um, I think you'll end up with a sore arm at the end of the day if you're swinging it for six hours. Right, okay, let's see. Oh, and the, only, the other thing I've noticed is I've had to turn the sensitivity down to uh, 21. Um, it's very, very sparky. Okay. Right, let's see what we can get. Well, we're up to a great start. So I've turned the sensitivity down to 21. And I just had a, a little tiny signal of 7 ID number. And I think... That is a medieval buckle. Still got his pin on. Yeah, tiny medieval buckle there. Brilliant. Very, very sensitive, this coil. Uh, right, I'll put up in the corner, up there, my settings I'm using for today. Very nice. Okay. Next we have a uh, small musket ball. That was really deep. 
you see down there that did great down there for it now it came over at seven very good at picking the targets out this coil positive just positive signals but I say it is very sensitive so it is a bit sparky so you've got to turn that sensitivity down a bit but yeah but like I say this field is done to death so I'm not expecting much today so it's just be interesting to find out what this thing will uh, pick out won't it but can't believe that medieval buckle first signal eh right okay let's carry on so next up had a button very deep and came over it in 15 one thing I will say is the pinpointing on this is very good better than the uh, standard Equinox coil for such a big size right let's carry on Next up, we can ah, tiny clog clasp. So, we're getting a really good depth on this coil, like expected. Not doing bad so far. Right, we'll carry on then and see what uh, else we can get. Next, we have a uh, a button it's got a design on it can't just make that out it could be a uh, like a flower design kind of neat I will say one thing it's sort of bringing this field back to life anyway Right, let's crack on. Next, underneath all them rocks, we have a thimble. Right, so the, the last three times I've been on here, I've, I've come away with next to nothing. And we've had a bit already, haven't we? Looking promising, isn't it, today? Right, so next we have a nine. Tiny little button. about eight inches down you're not going to miss much with this coil especially on the pasture it's going to it's going to show you a little bit of the view we've got this morning came out this morning lovely morning but it was two degrees when we came out well, it's warming up a bit now got a nice view over there Okay, nearly dinner time, have a bite to eat, then we'll get back at it. It's that a seven ID number.
Looks like we have. It's another medieval buckle. So we've had no armadour yet, but we've certainly had uh, the small deep artefacts that we've probably missed. Let's get that in focus. Shut the probe off. Probe's going off a bit. There we go. Right, don't know how long we're stopping. It's uh, getting on a bit in the day. I've not had much else since the uh, last video. But I didn't really expect to find a lot today, to be honest. But we've still got about half an hour left, so we'll see what we can get. Okay. And that was under a load of stone, so... Yep. Next up, this came over between 13 and 14 on the ID. And you can see all the way down there. I had to dig all these stones out to get to it. It's another little tiny clog clasp. So I'm mostly picking up all the smaller, the smaller deeper stuff with this coil because I've, I've had no coins, no bigger objects today. I've just dropped that back in the hole. Hang on. Right, so that's probably all we've got time for today. Um, so the verdict on the coil, very sensitive, deep. Um, downside is it's a little bit heavy. You're gonna need a. Uh, you're gonna need a uh, harness with it. My arm's aching already. Um, doesn't seem that heavy off the off the machine, but it's quite heavy on the Equinox. So I think it's a balance. Okay. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye for now.